welcome back to another reaction video. Hello to my Patreon members. Um, if you are eventually watching this on YouTube, I encourage you to come join our Patreon uh, members community awesomeness. Today we're going to be watching an exclusive film that was chose chosen out for me. That sounds incorrect, but um, was chosen for me. So I haven't seen anything about this movie, don't know anything about this movie. Um, for example, with Pursuit of Happiness that we just finished watching, uh, I can see that Will Smith was in the title of the, not the title of the movie, but the, the picture for it basically. Um, as well as Goodwill Hunting, you know, like I've, I saw it. But for Catch Me If You Can, I don't know. I haven't seen the picture either. Uh, so I, I don't really know what this movie is going to be about at all. Like sometimes I can have a little glimpse of even, you know, judging a book by its cover type of thing. But um, I haven't seen the front picture film for this film. If you know what I'm saying. If anyone can help me with the word I'm trying to look for, that would be great. So yeah, I have no idea what this film's gonna be about, so I'm really excited to just kind of dive into it. Um, the last movie we watched was The Last Samurai, so that was... That was something. So... We'll see what this movie entails and uh, what I'm getting myself into, or rather I say, what you guys are getting me into. I guess we can just do that. Also, if you join Patreon, you get uh, access to all of my reactions, early access to my reactions. You get to be a part of choosing these beautiful films that I watch very much. <laughs> um, you also get access to our Discord where we have movie nights. Um, we have to schedule movie night this month. Um, also, I also stream on Twitch if you ever want to come by and chat. The, all those links will be down below. And yeah, we have to plan out movie night soon um as you guys know i love to order sushi when we have movie night so that 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 will be fun and I'll, I'll also be jumping on discord a lot more often as well uh but anyway let's just kind of dive into the movie because i have no idea i don't know what i'm i don't know what i'm gonna be watching so hopefully it's not too sad uh it seems that you guys love to make me feel uh many types of emotions kind of like a whirlwind but um we're just gonna go into it. Maybe it's a really good, you know, maybe it's a maybe it's a feel good movie. Give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's let's dive into it, shall we? Leonardo DiCaprio's in it? Tom Hanks? I don't even know like what kind of movie this is, like if it's comedy or I don't know. Cash me if you can. Seems very, um, by the music and the way that it's kind of presented to me right now, I feel like it's like a spy or type of, you know what I'm saying? I'm like looking at the little, <laughs> the little animation that they put and I'm like, okay, I think I'm catching, I think I'm catching the vibe. Inspired by a true story? Thank you very much and welcome to To Tell the Truth. My name is Frank William Abagnale. Number three. My name is Frank William Abagnale. And I did it all before my 19th birthday. My name is Frank William Abagnale. <coughs> you know, I got a little bit of a cold myself. Help me. Frank, stop it. You don't think you're actually gonna fool me, do you? <coughs> 60 requesting body by deprivation of liver. Frank. Frank. Get me a doctor in here. I need a doctor. Yes. Doctor, now! Don't sweat it, Frank. We're going to get you right to a doctor. Bon encore, monsieur. I have worked too long, too hard for you to take this away from me. If he dies, I'm holding you responsible. Oh, shh. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> okay, Carl. Let's go home. The New Rochelle Rotary Club has a history that goes. So please stand as I present my very good friend, the man who keeps our pencils sharp, Frank William Avignale. <laughs> 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 
Oh, six years earlier. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Eventually, he turned that cream into butter and crawled out. Gentlemen, as of this moment, I am that second mouse. <laughs> he admires him so, so, so much. He needs a black suit. Black there was a death in the family. My father, 85 years old, war hero. Yeah. There's a funeral this afternoon, oh. military funeral, planes. Flying overhead, 21-gun salute. I'm sorry, we don't loan suits, and we're not open. Darcy, Darcy, please, <sighs> come back. Darcy, is this yours? I just what? found it in the parking lot. It must have slipped right off your neck. Don't hit the curb. Don't hit the curb. <laughs> Dad, what, what's all this for? You know why the Yankees always win, Frank? Because they have Mickey Mantle? No. It's because the other teams can't stop staring at those damn pinstripes. <laughs> Watch this. I'm sure you're baking New Rochelle. They know you. They can help you out. My bank went out of business. Banks like this one put them out of business. Now, I know I made a mistake. I admit that. But uh, these people want blood. They want my store. They, they've threatened to put me in jail. Well, but all I'm asking is for you to help me beat these guys. It's not a question of winning and losing. It's a question of risk. You're the largest bank in the world. Where's the risk? Dad, how could you just let him take our car like that? He didn't take anything. We took him. He overpaid by 500. Come on, Frank. Let's return the suit. You want some pancakes? <laughs> For dinner, on my son's 16th birthday, we're not going to eat pancakes. I don't think you I opened a checking account in your name. I put $25 in the account so you can buy whatever you want. Don't tell your mother. I won't. It's even got my name there, huh? To the moon. To the moon. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, yes? Uh, do you know where room 17 French is? Yeah, it's... <laughs> what the? That's a weird combo. I feel like usually they wouldn't really put that. What's up with these two dudes? <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna pretend to be the teacher. Quiet down, people! My name is Mr. Abignail. That's Abignail, not Abignali, not Abignali, but Abignail. Oh, somebody please tell me where you left off in your textbooks. Excuse me, people, if I need to ask again, I'm gonna write up the entire class. Take your seats! Holy frick, I have seven. Will you please open your textbooks to uh, chapter eight and we'll get started? Excuse me, what's your name? Brad. Brad, why don't you get up here in front of the class here and read conversation number five. That is so sick. <laughs> Les Frances son uh, generale meant Donsler pays Q, press Q, to Le Monde a uh, set impression. They sent and for me. They said they needed a sub for Roberta. I came all the way from, from Dixon. Well, I, I always sub for Roberta. Excuse me, why aren't you reading? Uh, Q Ills on. I'll never come back to, to Bellarmine Jefferson again. You tell them not to call me. What do you think? It's easy for a woman my age. I regret to inform you that for the past week, Frank has been teaching Mrs. Glass's French class. He what? Just imagine and pretending to be a substitute teacher. Imagine having to go to school for your son and you get told this. Like that's so out of the box. At least to me it is it's like what? Some confusion with the real sub. <laughs> Your son held a teacher parent conference yesterday and was planning a class field trip to a French bread factory in Trenton. Do you see the problem we have? Mrs. Davenport, uh, I have a note to miss fifth and sixth period today. Doctor's appointment. That note, it, it's a fake, right? You should fold it. It's, it's a note from my mom. I have a doctor's appointment. Yeah, yeah, but there's no crease in the paper. When your mom hands you a note to miss school, the first thing you do is you, you fold it and you put it in your pocket. If it's real, where's the crease? Dang. 
I'm gonna like this movie. <laughs> her out today. I think we're gonna go to the junior prom. What's going on? Why is my driver's license? Oh, Frankie, you remember Dad's friend? He came by looking for your father. I was giving him a tour of the apartment. What the fuck? Very, uh, uh, spacious, Paula. Ew. Thanks for the sandwich, Paula. I'll see you later, huh? Wait. Is this yours? Oh, well, thanks, Frank. Uh, that's the president's pin. <laughs> oh, I wish he didn't take his hand. I'll see you all later, huh? You're not going to tell him, are you? That's right. There's nothing to tell. I'm going out for a few hours to visit some old friends from the tennis club, and she when just... I get home, we'll all have dinner together. Right? Oh, yeah, Paul, I could not say that. I could not say that. Do you remember your grandma? I'm getting divorced. What we are saying to you, Frank? Adult business, but this paragraph right here, this is important because it states who you are going to live with after the divorce. Ooh, ooh. That makes that gave me goosebumps. That's so sad. Your mother or your father? Just put the name there. It's as simple as that. It's not a test. There's no wrong answer. I'm Frank Black from Monroe High School, and I have an appointment with Mr. Morgan. You're the young man who's writing the article for the school paper. Yes, ma'am, that's me. I want to know everything there is to know about being... That is so crazy. What, and, and what about those ID badges that I've uh, seen pilots wear? Well, every pilot has to have two things with them at all times. One is airline personnel badge. looks just like this one here from Pan Am. The other one is their FAA license. And that looks just like this. Do you think I can make a copy of this to put into my article? You look too young to be a pilot. I'm a co-pilot. Uh, why so nervous? How'd you feel if you uh, lost your uniform first week on the job? <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Uh, Pan Am's got lots of uniforms. Dude. It's going to be $164. You'll have to fill in your employee ID number, and then I'll be a Pan Am. I'll take it out in your next paycheck. Even better. Dear Dad. I'm sorry I ran away, but you don't have to worry. I'm gonna get it all back now, Daddy. I promise. I'm gonna get it all back. Oh. Are you a real life pilot? I sure am, little lady. And what's your name? Celine. Celine, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Excuse me? I'm John Modica. I manage this branch. I want to thank you for coming in and using our institution. Holy frick. <laughs> Good. I was also wondering if I could uh, write you a personal check. For airline personnel, we cash personal checks up to one hundred dollars. Payroll checks, we cash up to three hundred. Did you say three hundred for a payroll check? Dear Dad, I've decided to become a pilot for Pan American Airways. That is... Huh? <laughs> this is a cool movie to just kind of like follow along. I have a payroll check here I'd like to cash. Certainly. Uh, excuse me. You have the most beautiful eyes I have ever seen. Yeah, I do get that all the time. <laughs> How would you like it? Oh my gosh. Hello. Hi. Are you deadheading? What? Are you my deadhead to Miami? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm your deadhead. You're a little late, but the jump seat is open. You know, <laughs> it's been a while since I've done this. Which one's the jump seat again? <laughs> Are you my deadhead? 
Holy f what the? Would you like a drink after takeoff? Milk. 80 knots. Check. <laughs> what the? Dear Dad, today was graduation. I am now a co pilot earning $1,400 a month plus benefits. And the best part is, they tell me my family can fly for free. Hello, Deadhead. Hello. Enjoying your free ride? Marcy, did you drop this? Must have slipped right off your neck. No. <laughs> <laughs> no! Uh, no. Yes. 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 That was quick to it. I want to tell you something, Marcy. This is by far the best date I have ever been on. <laughs> Dude, that is so crazy. I'd like to cash this check here, and then I'd like to take you out for a steak dinner. <laughs> so where do the checks get routed to? I don't exactly know. Nobody ever asked me that before. <laughs> <laughs> Our next item up for bid is also from the Jersey. This is a micker and coder, a machine used to encode bank checks. The bank doesn't even know the check is bounced for two weeks, which means our unsub can stay in one place, paper the same city over and over again while this check circle the country. You know. <laughs> we'll just take this check and be on our way. Thank you. Good. Because I don't want my customers harassed. What are you saying? Are you still here? Is that Frank? Yeah, it's Frank. Yeah. Hey, Frank, how are you? How's the knee? Come on, I'll race you right now. <laughs> Take care. Okay, Frank. Oh my gosh. I honestly, like, there's not much to say watching this movie. Just, like, follow along with everything that's going on. Hands on your head. You know that's a new IBM Selectric. Put your hands on your head. print type in five seconds. Shut up! Pop out the ball. Put your hands on your head. Put your hands... You know, he's got over 200 checks here. Hands of on your head! Drafting. drafting... You're late, all right? My name's Alan, Barry Allen, United States Secret Service. Your boy just tried to jump out the window. My partner has him in custody. I don't know what you're talking about. What, you think the FBI are the only ones on this guy? I mean, come on. Come on, he's dabbling in government checks here. I've been following a paper trail on this guy for months now. Hey, you, you mind taking that gun out of my face? Please, really. <laughs> you see some credentials. Take my whole wallet. <clears throat> you want my gun, too? Come over here, take my gun. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, look, just do me a favor. Take a look outside. Look, look out the window. My partner's walking him to the car as we speak. Look, old guy almost pissed in his pants when I came through the door. He jumped right through the window onto the hood of my car. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> well, what's your name? Henry. Carl Henry. Holy mother. Bro. Mind if I see some identification? Sure. You know, you never can be too careful these days. Well, tough luck, Carl. Five minutes earlier, you would have landed yourself a pretty good collar. It's all right. Your wallet. You hang on to it for a minute. I trust you. Oh, my shit. <laughs> oh. I was gonna say he I don't even think he like hey! oh, it was stupid I made a stupid mistake uh, yeah pension program says a check and benefits. How much is that check for? Uh, kid, I'm really not in the mood for this right now. This Skyway man's driving me crazy. Who's this Skyway man? Uh, some nut that's flying around the country posing as a Pan Am pilot. There's a column about him in the paper today. <laughs> Newspaper loves this clown. They call him the James Bond of the sky. Did you say Bond? James.
Oh, I want to watch James Bond. I've never seen it, but... Or... There's a bunch of them, right? You know a lot more about planes than guns. Hello, pusher. Pusher. Are you sure this is the suit, right? Haven't I seen you before? Maybe. A couple years ago, I was on the cover of Seventeen. Isn't that your silver car I saw parked out front? Yeah. One of them. Six hundred. <laughs> Go fish. A thousand dollars. Oh, that's a good like camera angle. A thousand dollars. You think this hotel is gonna cash a thousand dollar check at three a.m.? It's a New York savings and loan check. It's like gold. They'll cash it. Why don't I give you back four hundred, and you give me that check? Even better. Mrs. Hanratty, Merry Christmas. Hello, Carl. Hello. I wanted to apologize for what happened out in Los Angeles. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no, you don't apologize to me. Do you always work on Christmas Eve, Carl? I volunteered. You want to talk to me? Let's talk face-to-face. -face. All right. I'm at my suite at the Stuyvesant Arms, room 3113. In the morning, I leave for Las Vegas for the weekend. Think you're gonna get me again? You're not going to Vegas. You're not in the Stuyvesant Arms. You'd love for me to send out 20 agents Christmas Eve to barge into your hotel. How did you know I wouldn't look in your wallet? <laughs> the same reason the Yankees always win. Nobody can keep their eyes off the pinstripes. The Yankees win because they have Mickey Mantle. No one ever bets on the uniform. <sighs> you sure about that, Carl? I'll tell you what I am sure of. You're gonna get caught. One way or another. It's a mathematical fact. It's, it's like Vegas. The house always wins. You didn't call just to apologize, did you? What do you mean? <laughs> you, you, you have no one else to call. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Morning night. Dang. Are you a collector? Of what? Barry Allen. The Flash. <laughs> but kid, kid, kid. You mean like the comic book? Yeah, the comic book. When he's not the Flash. He's the same Barry Allen. Now get this. He reads comic books. I've never seen the Flash. Barry Allen is the Flash. Well, why New York? The Yankees. He said something about the Yankees. So where are Would you happen to have a picture of your son? Oh, yes. I have his old yearbook. Ooh. You're gonna find out how old he is. Okay. Send out an all office teletype. I run subs. Name is Frank Abagnale Jr., age 17. <laughs> okay. He's in trouble. 17. The son is forging checks. Forging checks? Wait, I'm sure we can take care of that. Just tell me how much he owes and I'll pay you back. So far, it's about $1.3 million. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god, I want to do that. I'm like cold. <laughs> Lance, she's filling in a conversation pit. <laughs> Don't stand there crying. Just nod your head and tell me you won't do it again. Now dry up and get back to work. Hey. Hey. <gasps> I love okay. her. He told me to pick up the blood, so I did. But he never told me to lay one. Hey, it's okay. Stop crying. What's your name? I guess they're all right. I got mine off last year. Boy, I hated them. They were bottoms. You know, I still got to wear my mouth guard. You have really nice teeth. Well, thank you. <laughs> you have a pretty smile. He's good. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. You know if they're hiring here at the hospital? I'm not sure. What do you want to do? I'm a doctor. Dear Dad. Dude! I've decided to get off the road for a while. I've taken a night job at a hospital and met some really nice people. 
feels good to have my feet on the ground, to wake up in the same bed every night. Who knows? Maybe I'll even find someone to settle down with. <laughs> That's so crazy. Well, I doubt that uh, you'd be interested in that. In the past, they've always let me choose my own nurses. Dr. Connolly? Dr. Harris? Present. Dr. Ashland? Dr. Connolly? <laughs> Bro, that is so crazy. Uh, yes, I will, Dr. Ashland. And if you're gonna be late, I suggest you bring a note. I think one time on my Twitch stream, I talked about this exact movie like being made. Like, what if someone actually did all of this? And I remember you guys told me like, oh, there's this movie that they actually have made that is like that. It's like, in my brain, it's like it went all the way around and it's like in front of me. It was crazy. Anything different about me, you got your braces off. <laughs> here, I've been see. trying to show you all that. Good job. Yeah. So did it hurt when they took them off? Mine felt so weird. Feels good though, doesn't it? Yeah, feels incredible. Oh my. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't you go? No. No, no. They have a staff doctor in the emergency ward. Do you really think I have to go? Oh, in here, Dr. Connors. Oh, shit. <laughs> Gentlemen, what, uh, what seems to be the problem? Classical <laughs> accident. Fractured tibia about five inches below patella. Dr. Harris. Yes? Do you concur? Uh, concur with what, sir? W with what Dr. Ashland just said. Do you, do you concur? Oh, uh, well, there was a bicycle accident. Um, the boy told us. So you concur? Concur. I think we should take an x-ray, then stitch him up and put him in a walking cast. <laughs> Very good, Dr. Ashland. Very good. Well, you don't seem to have much need for me. Carry on. I had an abortion two years ago. My parents had a friend do it. Man, my father plays golf with. I had an abortion and I wasn't their daughter anymore. Please don't be mad at me, please. Oh my gosh, I've seen this as a gift before. I like how he comforts her. What if I spoke to your parents? I didn't know it was from this movie. What if I went to your parents and I spoke to your father and I asked permission to marry you? Because <laughs> her dad's a lawyer. Have you decided which hospital you want to work at here in New Orleans? Well, um, to be quite honest, I'm thinking about getting back into law. Oh my. Are you a doctor or a lawyer? Well, before I went to medical school, I passed the bar in California. I practiced law for one year, then I decided, why not try my hand at pediatrics? <laughs> oh, you're just full of surprises. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And a lawyer. Well, I'd say that Brenda hit the jackpot. Hollingsworth. Yes. Grumpy old Hollingsworth, right? I tell you, meaner than ever. And that dog of his? Tell me, Frank, what was the name of his little dog? Oh, shit. <laughs> the dog was dead. Oh. How unfortunate. Does he not believe him? Oh my god, he just keeps on hopping to different, <laughs> different paths. I really want to read, like, what this was inspired by. You know what you are. You're a romantic. Men like us are nothing without the women we love. 
I must Holy confess, sh I'm guilty of the same foolish whimsy. I proposed to Carol after five dates with two nickels in my pockets and holes in my shoes because I knew she was the one. <laughs> so go ahead, Frank. Ask the question you came here to ask me. What would I have to do to take the bar here in New Orleans? <laughs> um, the, the other question. Right through that door. Good luck, Mr. Connors. Thank you. Is just gonna study for it? He longs to have, like, a kind of love that's, like, inseparable. Inseparable. I don't know how to say that in English. Hopefully I said that correct. This is Anne. Ready? Hello, Carl. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Why are you Dr. Connors? Carl, I haven't been Dr. Connors for months now. I'm sitting here in my office on Christmas Eve. What do you want? Okay. I want it to be over. <laughs> I want it to be over. I'm getting married. You know, I'm settling down. You've stolen almost $4 million. You think we can just call that a wedding? Present? No, this isn't something you get to walk away from, Frank. I want to call a truce. No truce. You will be caught. You will go to prison. Where did you think this was going? Please leave me alone, Carl. Please. I'm getting close, huh? You're scared because I'm getting close. I know you. You're into that car in Shreveport. You stayed at the hotel in Lake Charles. You want to run, be my guest. Your, your checks don't lie as well as you do. Stop chasing me. It's my job. It's OK, Carl. I just thought I'd ask, you know? <laughs> hey. Merry Christmas, huh? Come on, Carl. The kid would have changed his name by now. Mm-mm. You -mm. can't change it. She thinks he's Connors. If he loses a name, he loses a girl. Oh, shit. <laughs> Brenda, you love me, right? Yeah. I mean, you love me no matter what. Yeah. Oh my god. Whether I was sick or whether I was poor, even if I had a different name. Frank, where'd you get all that money? Brenda, listen. A name, right? A name, it doesn't matter. My name is Frank Connors, right? That's who I am yeah. with you. But, but we, we all have secrets. Why would you lie to me? Brenda. Brenda. I want to know your name. Listen to you me. Tell me your name. Brenda, we can live anywhere we want, but you have to trust me, Brenda. Do you trust me? Yeah. Do, you, do you love me, Brenda? You love me. Excuse me, mother. I don't even know what I would do if I was in her shoes. Which room, sir? In the corner. You have to listen, right? Okay. The International Terminal in Miami. All right? Sam, no matter what, no matter what, you're going to take a taxi cab. I'm going to take a taxi. You're going to be there at 10 a.m. I'll be there at 10 a.m. No matter what. In two days. Two days, Brenda. Two days. In two days, I'll be there no matter what at 10 a.m. <laughs> Before you go, please tell me your name. Please tell me. Frank William Abagnale Jr. Wow. I was kind of skeptical about him actually being in love with her, or how well that was. Because I couldn't really tell, honestly. Um. Is she setting him up? Oh, crap. This guy's a no-show. He must have gotten Maybe wise he was tipped. He's not here today. It'll be tomorrow. We get him before he leaves the country. He doesn't have a passport. The last six months, he's going to have it in Berkeley. I'm betting he can get a passport. <laughs> yes, this is uh, Frank Roberts. And I'm letting all the universities in the area know that Pan Am will be initiating a new recruiting program this year. 
I'll uh, be stopping by your campus tomorrow morning. Thank you all very much for coming. At the end of the day, I'll be choosing eight young ladies. To I'm really friendly, and I can really help out and um, make people feel welcome on the plane. And all my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. That's me. <laughs> Anderson. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. They just stare at the girls. <laughs> oh no. That's how the Yankees win. That's crazy. Every single one of them. A man paid me hundred dollars with his uniform, picks one up at the airport. Who are you picking up? There you go! <laughs> Let's fly away. Da -da. South America. It's a long shot, sir, but if we could track him from Madrid, I can't believe she outed him. I'm sorry, Carl. If you couldn't catch him here, you can we just go back real quick? Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Question. You met your husband during the war. Answer. Yes, I lived in a very small village in France, the kind yeah, of right. place where they never heard of Sarah right. Lee. Tell me you wrote down the name of the village, Mr. Fox. Mount Rashad. There's a, there's, there's a, there's two dozen French police officers out there right now on Christmas Eve. That's what you're telling me? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, there's no windows here. I'm going to take a look out the front door. No, no. I told him I'd walk out first and give a signal. Here, you can put these on yourself. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. You know why? Because I think you're full of shit. I don't, I don't think there's anyone else out there. I think, I think it's just me and you. That's right. I think it's just me and you, and you know what? You're gonna have to catch me yourself. I, we don't have time for this. This is an interesting scene. No, 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 there is no problem. We're coming out right now. We've got one minute to bring Captain you out. Captain Luke! Captain Luke! Ooh, Captain Luke, well, Carl, I gotta say, that, that sounds pretty official to me, but like I said, I, I think it's just me and you here. Don't make a mistake! Keep pushing until you make it true. They're gonna kill you! You walk out that door, they're gonna kill you. Is that the truth? Yeah. That was really good, Carl. It's all right. I got him. Who put the Damn. Hey, I want it. I want it on the record. Don't worry, Frank. I'll have the extradited back to the United States. States. Don't worry. Damn. I mean, yeah, at this point, like, they've been at it for, like, what? Three years, maybe? Two, three? Yeah, three years. Third Christmas. Carl. The reason why I said this is because of the fact that he, you know, even said that basically everything's going to be fine. It's just going to be back to the U.S. That's LaGuardia right there. Runway 44. Frank, your father is dead. I'm sorry. I didn't want to say anything until we got closer to home. He. He fell down some steps at Grand Central Station trying to catch a train. I didn't want to be the one to tell you. You might, right? You said I could talk to him. Carl, who are you to, who are you to say something like that, huh? Who are you to say something like that? You said I could he talk to him. He, and he broke his neck. I'm sorry.
Frank! What? Snipping at no. and every mother's child. Oh, they got him. Although it's been said many times, that is so heartbreaking. Sentence you to twelve years in Atlanta's maximum security prison and recommend strongly that you be kept in isolation for the entirety of that sentence. Merry Christmas, Frank. Hey, I got you some comic books here. I thought it was Christmas. It's a paper hanger. He's working his way through Minnesota. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He's driving us crazy. You got any of the checks? Yeah, yeah, I got a, a counterfeit he drew on Red Lake Savings and Loan. See, he's just using a stencil machine in an underwood. He's helping yeah, him out. It's a teller at the bank. Say again? It, it, it's definitely a teller, Carl. I mean, banks, they always use hand stamps for the dates, see? They get used over and over again, so they always get worn out. The numbers are always cracking. The sixes and the nines. See, they go first. Thanks. He's he's helping he's helping them out he's helping he's he's help he's helping them out now. <laughs> Holy crap, that was bad. Well, there's no perforated edge, right? I mean, this this check was hand cut, not fed. Paper's double bonded, much too heavy to be a bank check. Magnetic ink, it's uh, raised against my fingers instead of flat. This doesn't smell like micker. It's some kind of a. You know, some kind of a drafting ink. You know, the kind you get at a stationery store. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, dude, that's so cool. Would you be interested in working with the FBI's financial crimes unit? I already got a job here. You know, I uh, deliver the mail. <laughs> Frank, we have the power to take you out of prison. Under whose custody? I don't know, but their whole bonding thing is very intriguing to me Hi. throughout this entire movie. I'm Frank Abagnale. I'm supposed to start work here today. <laughs> That's the irony in that is really cool. Dude, that is insane. Like all the people that know him because they were trying to hunt him down for three years and then just Carl. he works there now. <laughs> Holy. I'm like, look, look, look. <laughs> I mean, how long? Every day. Every day, Frank, till we let you go. Damn. What are you doing? It's not a good time, Frank. Clearing my desk for the weekend. I want to see how what's going to happen. Or like, I know I'm seeing it now, but. Come to work with you tomorrow. <sighs> tomorrow, Saturday. So what should I do till Monday? I'm sorry, kid. I can't help you there. Excuse me. American Airlines 355 serving Chicago and San Francisco is now in. How'd you do it, Frank? What did you pass the bat in Louisiana? What are you doing here? I'm sorry I put you through all this. You go back to Europe, you're gonna die in Pepignon prison. You try to run here in the States, we'll send you back to Atlanta for 50 years. Why'd you do it? You're just a kid. I'm not your kid. You said you were going to Chicago. My daughter can't see me this weekend. She's going skiing. Oh, man. She was four years old. You're lying. She was four when I left. Now she's 15. My wife's been remarried for 11 years. I see Grace every now and again. I don't understand. Sure you do. 
Sometimes it's easier living the lie. I'm going to let you fly tonight, Frank. How do you know I'll come back? Frank, nobody's chasing you. <laughs> Is he still not call? No, he hasn't. The sun sub is a mm. big dog. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Sorry. Good. We have a recovered check on Agent Raider's desk when we step out to the bullpen. It's very interesting to see that he is kind of, in a way, disappointed that he hasn't been back. Looks like the original amount was for $60. Mind if I take a look? Cash in Flagstaff a week ago. Cost the bank $16,000. It's a real check. Yeah. I mean, this isn't hydrochloride or bleach. Something new. Maybe a nail polish remover with a acid. That makes me, like, emotional, the fact that, you know, them two. He's, in a way, like, a I little bit... I'm Frank. <laughs> I'm, like, proud of him. How did you cheat on the bar exam in Louisiana? I didn't cheat. I studied for two weeks and I passed. Is that the truth, Frank? Is that the truth? I'll let this guy steals checks out of mailboxes. Well, if it were me, you know, I'd call the bank first, I'd check out the balance. Make sure there's enough money in there to make it worth your while. Exactly. You know, Carl, I think this guy's pretty smart. Most elusive check for more most authorities of, on bank, bank fraud and dang. Wow. <laughs> That's really cool. It's like a whole friendship just from having to catch him. Um, we're done. Yeah, I think it was. I think it's really interesting um, and a bit emotional to see how they both kind of grew into that friendship while he was, you know, looking out or I guess like trying to catch him, basically, uh, especially because of the whole thing about his like Frank's parents and the family. And with um, with Carl's daughter and his um, his ex-wife, it's interesting. It's interesting to see how they basically like became close through all of that. And then also everything like that has to do with Christmas. I guess that kind of entails how many years it took for that whole thing to 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 transpire. But uh, I really like how it became like a friendship type of thing and it was the emotional side of it is based on the fact that they both had a similar I guess loneliness I don't know if that's the right word to use but I really love that yeah I I don't think there's a I don't there wasn't much to say throughout the movie I honestly felt like this movie was a like I could just watch it just kind of unfold itself just one thing after the other so I didn't really have much to say throughout it, so I apologize for that, but uh, it was a really good movie. Um, I also was thinking about, I don't want to say like ideali idealization, or I don't know if that's the right word, but basically the way that he looked up to his father so much and the fact that he was doing all of this, um, especially because of his parents, you know, wanting his father to go back to the mom and stuff and... He had like this vision of family, which is also really sad to see, especially because Brenda freaking, what did she do? She like, she like ratted him out basically. But yeah, it was interesting to see also his infatuation, I guess, with the whole family thing, which I understand too. And he did a really good job uh, with the acting side of it, especially when, I don't know, there was a couple scenes that I, I noticed that I really liked his acting, especially when Carl, Carl had told him that his father had died in the airplane. That was really good. And then when he first found him uh, in France before, you know, locking him out. But but yeah, that's a, that's I think that's about it. I'm going to try and kind of like digest the movie a bit before I talk about it. But I'll also talk about it on Twitch if you guys also want to come and see about that and ask me some questions, too, because it's easier when it's like right there. And then we're kind of like going back and forth about the movies. Yeah, I guess after this one, we're going to go into uh, well, Patreon's going to have Spider-Man 2 already. And then the next movie that you guys have are having me watch is what is the next movie? Let let us let us. Oh, 
We're doing, uh, I guess I'm gonna watch Game of Thrones for Patreon next, which is very exciting and very scary at the same time. I've heard good things and I've heard scary things and I've heard good things. <laughs> so we're doing, we're doing that. Also, this movie is based on a true story. So I'd really, I'm gonna do a little bit of research on that because I find that very interesting. I do not remember <clears throat> if my Discord peeps from a while back uh, remember me talking about this on stream, but I feel like I do remember talking about how I was like, imagine if there was someone who, who did all of these jobs and basically like, ah, I wish I could pull it up. I'm gonna try and find it and see if I can pull it up. But I feel like I talked about this one time and s like a few people told me, oh yeah, there's actually a movie that's legitimately about that because it's about a guy who actually did that. And I was like, that is crazy. So it's funny that this is the movie, this is one of the movies that I watched because it kind of went like a full circle for me. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're done. And I'll see you guys for Game of Thrones next. So that's exciting. Um, make sure to eat, make sure to stay hydrated and make sure to rest. And I will see you for the next one.